Hello. Welcome to Mac to Talk. After the startup chime, the feature people most associate with the Macintosh computer is the alert sound. Alert sounds on the Macintosh have not always sounded, or even behaved, exactly the same. Some of you may remember, Simple Beep, but the Mac had alert sounds long before Simple Beep. In 1983, Apple was demonstrating the Macintosh computer at various trade shows. This computer came loaded with System.85, and when it wanted to get your attention, it beeped. While other operating systems used a basic speaker that could create basic tones, the Mac was able to synthesize any number of sounds using a built-in 2-channel 22 kHz wave generator and digital signal processor. When the computer started up, it would load one of these sound samples from the onboard read-only memory, or ROM, and play it as part of the hardware test sequence. This is the same sound Apple used as the original alert sound, as we can see in the control panel. When Apple released System 1 in 1984 alongside the Macintosh, they did the same thing. All alerts played the startup chime stored in the ROM. In fact, Apple continued to do this through 1986. When System 3 was released, the control panel got a remake, but the ROM sound continued to double as the alert sound. Here is the Mac Plus startup chime instead of the one from the 128K Mac. With new computers came new startup chimes, and so also came new alert sounds and new control panel layouts, but the alert sound continued to be tied to the physical computer being used, until the release of System 6 in 1989. System 6 broke the control panel up into multiple panels, and one of those panels was the sound panel. Tucked away inside, there was something special, the ability to choose from a selection of digitized alert sounds. To do this, Apple switched from reading in the startup chime to load sound resources from inside the system file at boot time. This meant as long as there was memory available and enough storage on disk, any properly sampled sound could be written to the system as a sound resource and played back as an alert. Thus ended six years of startup chime alerts and began the reign of the simple beep. These four sounds were used as the defaults from System 6.0 right through the final release of 6.0.8.1 in 1991, and were even used in the retroactive release of 6.0.8L for newer hardware in 1992. But when Apple released System 7, they again overhauled how alert sounds were handled on the Macintosh. For most people, the biggest change was that instead of using ResEdit to insert your sound resources into the system file, they could be added and removed by treating the system file as if it were a folder. To celebrate the new focus on the Macintosh as an audio platform, Apple released a new set of default sounds, Droplet, Indigo, Quack, So Sue Me, Wild Eep, but kept the special non-visible sound from System 6, Simple Beep. Oops. System 7 also got released with some instabilities, which were quickly patched with System 7.0.1. Simple Beep sounds like a muted version of a basic startup chime. Droplet, Quack and Wild Deep are self-explanatory. So Sumi has a more interesting story. In 1978, back when Apple Computer, now Apple Inc., was selling their original Apple Computer, they got into a trademark dispute with Apple Records, now Apple Corp the label that sold the Beatles music. To settle the dispute, Apple Computer agreed not to enter the music business and Apple Records agreed not to enter the computer business. Then, in 1989, Apple Corp sued Apple Computer, due to the Apple IIgs computer's advanced music generation hardware developed by Ensonic. Apple Computer was found to be in the wrong and was prevented from releasing any further computers with dedicated music hardware. In 1991, with the release of System 7, Apple Computer planned to release System 7 with a sequenced alert sound called Chimes. This coincided with a new settlement between the companies where Apple agreed not to sell physical media with music on it, but could sell hardware that generated music. Apple Computer renamed the Chimes sound So Sue Me, and 27 years later, it is still included as a bundle sound. From the release of System 7 in 1991, through the Perform 7.1 systems in 1994, Apple kept the alert sounds the same.
They also added the sample sounds, including Sosu Me, to the existing Apple II GS line of computers with the release of GS OS X. Even with the release of System 7.5, and the following updates through 7.5.2, Apple did not change the alert sounds. With the release of macOS 7.5.3 in 1995, Apple successfully stripped out all components of the operating system that depended on third-party license agreements. Ironically, they also introduced third-party alert sounds for the Performa line of computers, but left the Macintosh line with the basic System 7 Apple-only sounds. The Performa computers included different sets of alerts across the revisions of 7.5.3 and Performa bundles. This continued through macOS 7.5.5. In 1997, with macOS 7.6, Apple reintroduced third-party components to the operating system, but cancelled the Performa program, and with it the third-party alert sounds. However, they introduced new sounds for computers with built-in GeoPort modems, to simulate the sounds associated with modem fax and telephone features. The following year, Apple released macOS 8, and introduced the first two new alert sounds in seven years, single click and wit. These two sounds were found in bundle installations of the macOS, but not on the installed CDs, which continued to contain only Droplet, Indigo, Quack, Simple Beep, Sosumi and Wild E through macOS 8.6 in 1999. Apple released OS X Server in 1999, a year before the OS X consumer beta. This totally new operating system based on NextStep and BSD finally featured new alert sounds, Frog, Basso, Bunk, Funk, Ping, Pop and Tink. It also renamed Wild Deep, removing the space, and renamed Simple Beep to System Beep, also without the space. Later that year, Apple released Mac OS 9 to prepare the way for OS 10. It contained a mix of the System 7 sounds, Indigo, Sosumi and Simple Beep, with some new crisp stereo sounds. Chew Toy, Glass, Laugh, Log Jam, Pong 2003, Per, Submarine, Temple, uh oh and Voltage. Single Click and Wit continued to be provided on bundled systems but not with the retail OS. Uh -oh. When OS 10 10.0 finally arrived, it combined the selection of sounds from OS 9 and OS 10 server, leaving us with Basso, Bunk, Frog, Funk, Glass, Ping, Pong 2003, Pop, Per, Sosumi, Submarine, Temple and Tink. Gone were Indigo, and surprisingly, Simple Beep. In 2001, OS 10 10.1 was released. It dropped Bunk, Pong 2003 and Temple, and introduced Low, Bottle, Hero and Morse. These alert sounds stuck around, and haven't changed with all the other shifts in Mac user experience through the years. As of Mac OS 10.14, they're still with us. Basso, Blow, Bottle, Frog, Funk, Glass, Hero, Morse, PNG, Pop, Per, Sosumi, Submarine and Tink.
This leaves Sosumi as the longest running alert sound, lasting 27 years and going strong. By comparison, Simple Beep only lasted for 10 years, from 1989 to 1999. And that's the story thus far of Macintosh alert sounds, more than just a simple beep.